Hi, my name is Enrique Moura and I'm an Agile and Project Management Consultant and Trainer. Today, I'm happy to bring you a video on the topic of empiricism. Dictionaries define empiricism using expressions such as relying on observation and experience or based on evidence and acquired knowledge. Agile frameworks such as Scrum adopt an empirical approach. That means that Scrum teams should be making their decisions based on observation and experience instead of detailed processes and plans established up front. The video will explore how transparency, inspection, and adaptation may help a Scrum team to empirically determine the best course of action within an uncertain and complex environment. The video is part of a series of videos that will explore agile concepts, practices, and frameworks. If you're interested, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Product development may be influenced by multiple complex, uncertain, and often relatively unknown variables. Expectations, technology, assumptions, resource availability, existing skills and experience, supplier performance, economic environment, market conditions, and funding are common sources of complexity and uncertainty. Each variable can also interact with the remaining variables, minimizing or enhancing their effect. Complex and highly uncertain products cannot be developed with prescriptive processes and plans. Scrum is an empirical approach. Dictionaries define empiricism using expressions such as based on observation and relying on experience. The Scrum team will make decisions based on observation, experience, evidence, and acquired knowledge instead of predictable and unrealistic processes and plans. The Scrum empirical approach is founded on the pillars, transparency, inspection, and adaptation. The transparency pillar states that the Scrum team and relevant stakeholders should share a common understanding of the progress towards goals, artifacts, and adopted practices. The Scrum team should also remove any obstacle that can limit its ability to inspect and adapt. The following practices promote transparency. The Scrum team shares a common product goal to ensure that the reason for completing the product and product progress are transparent. It also shares a common sprint goal to ensure that the reasons for completing the sprint and sprint progress are transparent and shares a common definition of done to ensure that the product quality is transparent. Relevant information remains visible, accessible and constantly updated. Reports should be graphical and easily understandable. And finally, the Scrum team shares a common understanding of acceptable and non-acceptable behaviors. The inspection pillar stresses that the Scrum team should regularly check their achievements, artifacts, and practices to collect feedback that may lead to adjustments. The Scrum team can then quickly learn and respond to unfavorable variances, improvement opportunities, and changes within the business or organization environment. The frequency of inspection should be tailored to enable adaptation without hindering productivity. The Scrum events enable frequent opportunities for inspection. Inspect the product backlog at the sprint planning event. Inspect progress toward the sprint goal at the daily Scrum event. Inspect the increment progress toward the product goal, the product backlog, and the business environment at the sprint review event. And Inspect the Scrum adoption, processes, practices, tools, impediments, working relationships, and behaviors at the Sprint Retrospective event. The ultimate goal of empiricism is to adjust based on the acquired experience and knowledge. The adaptation pillar argues that the processes and plans should be simple and evolve instead of detailed and prescriptive. The Scrum team should adjust them frequently to address issues and variances as soon as possible. The frequency of adaptation should be tailored to enable creativity and efficiency.